hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're having a look at how to sew the button to the fabric on our sewing machine. And for this we're going to need our button fitting foot M, which should come with your sewing machine. And then I need to put down the feed dogs so that the feed dogs won't transport my button around because I want it to be in one place and not go anywhere. And now I'm measuring the distance between the holes in my button. It's about 3.5 millimeters so that I know how wide I need to make the zigzag stitch. Now I'm attaching the button fitting foot and now I can put my fabric and the button underneath the button fitting foot carefully <laughs> and then I'm selecting the zigzag stitch and I need it 3.5 millimeters wide and I need to put the stitch length to zero and some sewing machines already have a special stitch to attach the button but I don't so then you need to work with your zigzag stitch. And now the sewing machine will do the rest. So I just tested if it's really the right width with the stitch and it was. So now I can sew a little bit faster. And I think that's plenty already. I don't think I need to sew that much. <laughs> but better safe than sorry right now I'm just pulling the threads through to the underside of the fabric and then I'm tying a knot and cut off the threads there we go And that's our button. And now let's see if it fits through the buttonhole we saw before in the video before this. It does. That's what it could look like on a project. <laughs> this is the last video of the series for now. Now I'm going to go back to sharing some sewing projects with you, but I will always add to this little series when you come up with a request or want to know about something or when I feel that I need to add something so you can master the project or the pattern that I'm bringing out. And I hope you enjoyed this little series for now and I hope I see you in the next video again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.